My name is Andrew, and today I'm going to be walking you through the Tmon SNMP processor. Before we get into the details of Tmon, though, let's take a look at what a standard SNMP manager does. A standard SNMP manager accepts trap messages from SNMP RTUs and other SNMP equipment out in the field. It will then display those traps, generally in a list view, for review by a human operator. Now let's look at what Tmon does. Tmon accepts trap messages from the same SNMP RTUs and the same SNMP equipment, but it also accepts incoming alarms from legacy equipment, equipment with ASCII text output, such as a telecom switch, and many other types of equipment. And it doesn't just display those alarms in a list view. You have a Windows interface, a geographic map interface that also supports floor plans and rack photographs, and a Web 2.0 interface with analog gauges that requires no software installation. And you can see that each of those methods supports multiple concurrent users, so you're not limited to just a single screen. You can have a whole team looking at alarms if that's what you need. You're also not trapped at your screen. You can output alarms via email, you can have Tmon call you and speak the alarm text to you over the phone. And you can even send text messages to a cell phone. That's a very popular and very convenient method. Finally, you can pass your SNMP traps and other alarms to a higher level master station. This is useful if you need local visibility of your own region, but you're also required to pass alarms up the chain. Now let's look at two key SNMP manager functions. The first one, receiving traps, is handled by every SNMP manager. That's simply what SNMP managers do. But a more advanced feature that's only possessed by some SNMP managers, including Tmon, is the ability to send GET messages. That serves a couple important functions. First, it serves as a regular uptime check. If you program Tmon to send a GET message to a device every few minutes, you'll know very quickly if that device stops responding, and you can send someone out to check on it. You can also check on alarm status. Now, this is important because SNMP traps aren't guaranteed to be delivered. If something goes wrong and a trap doesn't make it to your manager, you simply have no way of knowing, unless you can send a GET message to that device and ask it to update you on the status of its current alarms. Then you can examine its response and see if anything's out of sync. Now let's look at the types of SNMP managers. This is a graph of price versus feature set. On the lowest end, the lower left, you'll see low-cost, basic feature SNMP managers. Now sometimes these are even free, but the feature set is very basic. You generally get a single user, a list of traps that have come in, and not much else. Technically speaking, they're SNMP managers, but you don't get much advanced functionality. On the opposite end of the curve are the mega-dollar SNMP managers. Now these definitely have big feature sets, but they also have big price tags. And there aren't many companies that can justify what may be a half million dollar purchase just for an SNMP manager. Most companies simply aren't big enough. But the nice thing about SNMP managers, like most products, is there's an elbow in the price to feature curve. And that's where Tmon is situated. For a reasonable price, far away from the mega dollar price range, you get a very strong feature set in industrial grade hardware. And one of those advanced features of Tmon is trap filtering. This is important because, quite frankly, you don't want to see every SNMP trap that comes in. That's one of the problems with your low-cost or free SNMP managers. They show you everything. And in most networks, it's simply too much. You're going to get overloaded. So one of the things Tmon allows you to do is specify what types of alarms you want displayed on an interface, what type of alarms you simply want logged for later review, and which alarms simply don't deserve human attention and should be ignored. Basic setup for the Tmon SNMP processor is quick. You just need to compile your MIBs, those are supplied by your SNMP device manufacturers, into Tmon, and then import SNMP device templates so Tmon can process incoming traps. They're databased as traps come in. You also have advanced setup options if you want to use them, and that's where Tmon's SNMP capabilities are customizable for fine tuning. I've already shown you that Tmon is positioned to have a strong feature set at a reasonable price right out of the box. But when you're shopping for SNMP managers, you really need to be careful about what I would term insane licensing fees. 
With Teamon, you just buy one SNMP software module one time. That gives you the ability to process SNMP traps and send GET requests. There are no recurring fees per unit, per device type, or per site. You should never have to pay just to keep using the system you already bought. For more information about the Teamon NOC SNMP processor, give us a call here at DPS at 1-800-693-0351.